In this demonstration, I'll show you how to calculate annuity when compounded semi-annually. This is part one. To start, let's discuss some key terms. Annuity is a series of equal payments made at regular intervals over a fixed period of time, whereas simple ordinary annuity are annuities where the compounding period is equal to the payment period and payments are made at the end of each compounding period. The question reads, Jordan saves $500 semi-annually in an account that pays 4% per year interest compounded semi-annually. What is the amount of the annuity after five years? What you'll need is the following. You'll need this formula. And this formula tells us that the future value amount represented as A is equal to R times one plus the interest rate per compounding period to the power of N minus one where n represents the total number of deposits. And of course, i represents the interest rate. So to tackle this question, let's highlight some key points. We are told Jordan will save $500 semi-annually in an account that pays 4% per year interest, compounded semi-annually. So this 4% per year represents the whole year, but since he is saving $500 semi-annually, you'll have to take your interest of 4%, and divide it by two, because semi-annually means every six months. So if we take this number and if we divide it by two, we end up with 2%. And when it comes to working with questions like these, we do not use percentage. Instead, we use the decimal version of a percent. To find the decimal version of 2%, we divide by 100. Dividing 2% by 100 gives us simply 0 0.02, and that's what will represent your I value. Now your R value represents the regular deposits or regular payments. So we're assuming what Jordan is doing is he's putting $500 into his account every six months. So therefore, our R value is equal to $500. Furthermore, we still need to find out what N is. N represents the total number of deposits. Now this is going to happen for the next five years. We know it will happen twice a year due to the fact that it's semi-annually. So to find out the total n value, we will take five years and multiply it by the amount of times he'll do it per year. And in our case, it's semi-annually, so we're going to multiply that by two. Now we have every bit of information we need to plug in into our formula to find the future value amount. Let's do this together. So a is equal to r, which is 500, square bracket, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of n, which is 10, minus 1. Close the square bracket, all over i, which is represented as 0 0.02. Now you're probably curious about this minus 1. Why do we have a minus 1 in the formula? Well, to make a long story short, let's draw a little timeline. Let's pretend that this is year 0 and this is year 1, and Jordan will be putting his first payment after six months. Now if we hadn't put that minus one there, if the formula never had a minus one, that's like saying he puts a payment once he opens his account, and then again after six months, and then again after six months, and then that would end up becoming 11. So that's why we put that minus one there to indicate that it's not happening right away. Let's go back to our equation. So we're going to use our calculator to evaluate this. We're going to take 500 square bracket and on a calculator, you don't have square brackets, just use ordinary brackets. This bracket, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of 10 minus 1. And that will give you the top part. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.02. And we end up with 5,474.86. 5,474.86 six dollars so let's interpret this what is the amount of the annuity after five years well after five years of constantly depositing five hundred dollars every six months he will end up with five thousand four hundred seventy four dollars and some change given the interest rate that he has been given and there you have it that is how to calculate annuity when compounded semi-annually if you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.